All right, now we're going to turn this into probability. The probability is an event involving chance. Um, each repetition of an experiment is called a trial, right? And each um, possible result is called an outcome. A set of outcomes is known of an event and is a set of all possible outcomes as a sample space. All right. Probability that is likely, how likely a probability is to occur, right? Probability measures how likely it's to occur, and in the event of an impossible, the probability is zero. If it's certain, the probability has one, which is 100%. All other events, all other events have a probability somewhere between zero and one. All right, so if it's kind of possible, it'd be close to zero or one, somewhere in between zero and one. When all the outcomes of a probability of an experiment are equally likely, um, the theoretical outcome of an event is given by this formula. It's really the number of possible outcomes over the outcomes of the event you're looking for, the desired event. And these are the numbers of those elements. So let's go ahead and talk through this, right? The sample space uh, looks like we're rolling a die. So my sample space is literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the number is 6. Event A appears to be prime. Is that what they have? Prime. So we got 2, 3, and 5. The number would be um, 3. Event B is even number, so 2, 4, and 6, also a number of 3. So what's the probability of A? Well, the probability of A, let, let's do our um, notation right, is the number in A over the number of the sample space. Well, the sample space is a die roll of 6, and the number of A, there's 3. So our probability is 1 half. The probability of A union B. Well, that's the number of A union B over the number of the sample set. The number of the sample set is still 6, but A union B is everything in both. So that's 5, 6. All right? Not just odds. I'm sorry, not just prime and not just evens, right? But all of it. This one's different. This is A intersect B. So that's the number in a intersect B, which we know is just the number 2, so there's only one of them, and the number of the sample space is equal to 6. This is the probability of A's complement. Well, A's complement is, prob is prime numbers, and um, that leaves a number of A's complement is, let's think, it's 4, it's 6, um, it's 1. So there's three outside, and the number spate of the sample is still six. So this is one half as well. All right, let's try a few more down here. I'm going to do at least B. Let's see if there's A, B, C, D. There isn't, and I'll let you try C. Your grocery contains one bag of the following items. Oranges, green apples, green grapes, green broccoli, white cauliflower, orange carrots, and green spinach. You are getting ready to transfer your items to your basket on the conveyor. Event A is picking a bag that contains a vegetable first. And event B is picking a bag that contains green food first. All right. Well, here's testing me. Um, so we're going to say, let's, let's go ahead and say A, and we'll figure it out here. And B, and let's see if we can figure it out. So oranges are neither green nor are they a vegetable, so oranges are going to be outside. Green apples, right here. Green apples. So we got oranges here, green apples here. Um, green grapes. Green grapes. Green grapes right there. White cauliflower. Well, I would say cauliflower is here. So I'm going to say white cauliflower. Orange carrots right here. Orange carrots. Green spinach right in here. It's both green spinach. So it looks like the probability of A, let's do the number of our sample set. Number of our sample set looks to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me count up here to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I must have missed something because I see something else. So did I get orange carrots? Let's see. Oranges are here. Green apples are here. Green grapes are here. Green broccoli is what I forgot. Green, which is both in here. 
So green, broccoli, and then we have green spinach in here as well. There's a, they overlap in two places. So the number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our sample space is seven. The number in A is one, two, looks like four. Right, the number in B is one, two, three, four as well. So let's see if we can do this. All right, probability of A is the number in A, right, over the number in the sample space, and A had four, the sample space was seven. Probability of A union B, so that's the number in A union B, over the number in the sample space, sample space we know is seven, let's see. A union B is everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only the oranges are not in there. Six sevens. A intersect. So that's the number of A intersect B items over the number of the sample space. Looks like they only intersect twice um, with the, the green broccoli and the green spinach. So this would be two out of seven. And A's complement, this would be the number in A's complement, right, over the number in the sample space. Number in the sample space is seven. A's complement. A's complement would be everything outside of here, so we got one, two. Looks like there's, oh, nope, there's three. Three sevens. And that's it. I'm going to let you read C. This may be the only thing you show me when you come back. Maybe just C. But we're going to move on. We'll come back with page four. One more page to go.